Nearly six months now since the Humphreys County flooding disaster. Today, we go back to Waverly to see the progress made and the need that's still in that community. News 4's Ryan Bresland is sharing the efforts there. Loading new flooring through her front door, help is still here for Gretchen Turner. You know, I see things constantly that need to be done at the house. After floodwaters rose in Waverly, so much had to be tossed. They took out our ductwork, our, our original hardwood floors, our cabinets, everything ended up on the front lawn. Her home and the devastation around the town she's lived in since she was 10, a constant reminder of that August day. I couldn't think about anything except what we had been through and what we were going through. Here I am five months later still getting emotional about this stuff. Waverly representing just one of the severe weather disasters seen in the last two years in Middle Tennessee, something Turner understands. The climate is changing and we are having more storms and more droughts and, uh, and more floods. If something can happen, it will happen. If something's happened, it will happen again. TEMA Director Patrick Sheehan says they're working to guide communities in the state to make them more resilient. That includes writing and adopting plans, figuring out where there are shortfalls, and working with the General Assembly. We focus on the irrefutable. We focus on the facts. We are having more frequent disasters, sometimes in places that have not had them. Uh, they are more devastating, and we're, we focus on those facts. One recent improvement, having all 95 counties participate in the National Flood Insurance Program, Humphreys and Houston counties, the last to opt in after the August floods. It's the first time that's happened in, in Tennessee, so that's great news. Planning for the future doesn't change what's already been done, and in Waverly, the cleanup feels endless. I am concerned about the trash in the creek because there is a huge amount of trash. There's still cars. There's sheds, all that's got to be, you know, grabbed by hand and hauled out. Gretchen Turner has now been asked to be the advocacy chair for Humphreys County long term recovery. She says a housing shortage is her main concern right now to bring people home to Waverly. Tima says people should look at insurance coverage. Even if you don't have a federally backed mortgage insurance, they should think about having homeowners insurance. If you live in a floodplain, Sheehan says, get flood insurance. Holly. Very important. And Brian, so do we know how much money has really gone towards disasters at this point? Well, in the last two years, Tima's director Sheehan says more than $13.3 million has been delivered to survivors and almost $40 million to public mm. assistance to eligible organizations organizations that have helped repair bridges, roads, and much more.